Hello and welcome back to our uh, devotion. And uh, this week we are looking at a very interesting topic uh, about our attitude. So this series is called Our Attitude Matters. You know, our attitude is a settled way of thinking or feeling about something. And our attitude actually governs the way we think, governs our, our choices, our decisions, our behavior and so on. So our attitude can either help us or completely hinder us from being, from becoming all that God wants us to be. Our attitude can actually propel us or prevent us from doing the things or encountering the things that God has for us today. So uh, our attitude is very important and definitely there are some attitudes to avoid and some attitudes to develop and having the right attitude can really change the next 24 hours of our life. And if we can commit to being consistent in developing some great attitudes in our lives. It can change the very course of our life. So today we look at uh, some attitudes to avoid and uh, one of which is the me superior, you inferior attitude. Basically uh, a, a superior attitude, a superiority attitude which looks at others and looks down on others. And how does this happen? How does this attitude creep into our lives when we know that we are good at something. When we know that we have a particular skill or ability or a talent and we look around that no one else has it or very few people have it and we become, uh, we look at, look down on others who do not have that same thing. Or maybe we have a special ability or an intellect or maybe an ability to remember things or a special talent to maybe speak different languages and so on. And when we compare ourselves with others and when we look down on others, this attitude comes into our lives. So this attitude displays itself or manifests itself in, in a couple of ways. We look down on others. We compare, we look down who do not have, or who look down on others who do not have a similar uh, characteristic or similar skills and abilities. Um, another way by which this attitude manifests itself is when we get irritated or when we get very impatient with others because they don't measure up to our standard, measure up to the level at which we operate. Um, it's good to encourage others, but when we, when we get irritated and impatient because you know, uh, we look down on their capability and we, uh, we have a superiority um, uh, uh, attitude, superior attitude, then this, this attitude creeps in. So the downside of this is that we become boastful we become arrogant and we become full of pride. And this is dangerous because uh, the scripture warns us that when we become proud, God actually resists the proud. James chapter 4 and verse 6, this is what we read. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. So when we have this kind of attitude, when we become proud, um, we stop the flow of God's grace into our lives, which is something very, uh, God's grace is something that we need for the living of today. And we stop the flow of God's grace, God's grace. So the cure, the antidote is really to look at others and to appreciate the abilities and the skills at which they, the skills at the level at which they operate, to look at their potential and to, to celebrate that. And to also celebrate the differences that we have um, uh, uh, each other and we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for the ability and when we are full of thanksgiving, we leave no room for pride to enter in. Uh, one scripture that can help us is this, Romans 12 and verse 16 says, Be of the same mind towards one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. So let us pray, let us ask God to cover us with humility instead of being proud and arrogant. Father, we thank you that, um, Lord, you spoke gentle words and you were so humble and meek, O oh God, when you walked on the earth. Lord, we, we thank you, God, that we can be that. We can be Christ-like in our demeanor. And Lord, we pray that uh, this attitude we will discern and avoid and also develop an attitude of humility, O oh God, when we interact with others. We thank you. Holy Spirit for leading us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.